What's up, YouTube? I'm Darren Edward. On December 4th, the National Journal of Cancer released a study that surveyed women with a sister who had been diagnosed with breast cancer, whether those women subsequently also were diagnosed with breast cancer, and whether they had used hair dye or chemical hair straighteners. The title of NPR's article covering the study was Hair Dyes and Straighteners Linked to Higher Cancer Risk, Especially for Black Women. Like many of you, I was alarmed by the title of this article. So I read the whole thing and a few others that also covered the study. I also read the study itself, and I found plenty of reasons to believe that this study is no reason to be alarmed. Today I want to highlight a couple of key takeaways from my research and hopefully give everybody a little bit of peace of mind around this. Now, despite what the title says, most of the articles that covered this study included a quote from a scientist or a doctor that went something like this. The actual risk factor for use of these hair treatments is quite low, especially compared to other known carcinogens like tobacco or radiation. The findings of this study only add up to a perhaps when it comes to risk. Okay, so that makes me feel a little better. So maybe link was a poor word choice, or maybe it was just put in there to help drive clicks. Either way, it's important to understand that the study shows correlation, not causation. In other words, the study doesn't claim that hair color or chemical straighteners cause cancer, only that the statistics showed a slight increase in the occurrence of breast cancer for women that also use these products. The study itself was simply a survey. It didn't test ingredients, it didn't track what hair care brands were used, and it didn't track what hair and body products were being used in the home. Crucially, the study also points out that of the women that did use permanent hair color, a higher percentage of them also reported smoking cigarettes versus those that didn't use hair color. Here's the thing, the hair color versus smoking is also a correlation, but I couldn't find any news articles with titles like like hair color linked to smoking, of course I didn't because that wouldn't make any sense. But it is a correlation. All correlation means is that in a survey, when one number was elevated, so was this other number. And if you want to make the leap that permanent hair color caused breast cancer, then you have to completely ignore the role that smoking cigarettes may have also played. Now, the study also reported an even higher correlation between women that use chemical hair straighteners and incidences of breast cancer. Here's the thing about that. We know statistically that women of color are more likely to live in areas where they are exposed to industrial pollution. So again, if you want to make the leap that chemical hair straighteners cause these instances of breast cancer, you have to completely ignore all of the other risk factors that women of color are exposed to. In regards to chemical straighteners, the study points out that there have been plenty of studies going back to the 90s that show no correlation between sodium hydroxide or thiostraightening solutions and breast cancer. But this current study also includes new Brazilian blowout type treatments that include formaldehyde, which is known to cause cancer. The study did not track what type of chemical straighteners the women use, nor does it report whether the women who had used either hair dye or chemical straighteners had used both. It's entirely possible that women of color who use permanent hair color also used formaldehyde-based hair straighteners, but the study didn't track those numbers. So, let's review. The study was a survey of women who were already genetically at a higher risk for getting breast cancer. It disproportionately surveyed women who used permanent hair color and also smoked cigarettes and it can account for the introduction of formaldehyde-based chemical straighteners versus historically safe straighteners. No formulations were tested, no brands were tested, and there was no tracking of home hair or body product use. Now, of course, this study is an important step in eradicating risk factors for breast cancer and ultimately eradicating breast cancer itself. I fully support this kind of research. I hope it continues, but at this point, this study shouldn't be a reason to stop using hair color or chemical straighteners, at least not the ones that contain formaldehyde. And if you aren't convinced by correlation versus causation, the study did mention that there was no correlation found between demi or semi-permanent hair color and breast cancer. So demi is an option. One thing is for certain, if you're a hairdresser talking to a concerned client, please, please, please do not say something like, well, our hair color is perfectly safe. It's botanical. We don't know if a beta hair color was part of the sample. Don't just make things up. Talk about the study itself. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you need a little bit of a palate cleanser after a tough subject, check out one of my other videos. I promise you, I'm usually very funny. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.